Ross Stern gets the ball out wide, looks to cross it. It should come for Thomas Smith on the edge of the area. Here it is! And that is an absolutely fabulous fight by the Mercurial Gingerman. And it is 1 0 to Bar City in 2019 20. Smith, about halfway through the half, his cross is shortened. Looked to be flicked on by Richards, but the clearance isn't the best there. Terry Range wins it back, looks to be shot by Oh, Stern, and it's 2 0. An absolute stunner from the substitute. And Jerry Gill, substitution, pays off handsomely, and Braintree are two goals down. Whistle blows, Harvey steps up, shoots, scores confidently, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Harvey puts the ball to the keeper's right, goalkeeper dives to the left. Bar City are back on level terms on 58 minutes. Weymouth one, Bar City one. Riley Lowe's going to take. Towards that near post, Reigns flicks it on, it's in at the back post. Bar City have taken the lead, it's an easy goal. It's Alex Hartridge who put through his own net on Tuesday night. He's got one at the right end now, 10 minutes in. Welling United nil, Bar City one. Scored eight of his last 10 penalties, Tyler Harvey. He's got three and three for Bar City. He scored one on Tuesday. Tyler Harvey steps up and scores. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. This time he went the other side. The goalkeeper went to his right and Harvey rolled it the other way to his left. As cool a penalty as you are likely to see. Welling nil, Bar City two, 23 minutes. Anderson heads it away. Reigns is now charging into the penalty area. Still going Joe Reigns. He should keep it in. Turns away from Green. Back to Mann. This front three of City, the formation has worked so far. Hamlin plays it on now to Harvey inside the penalty. Area, turns away from Rich Baglu. Harvey across goal. Richards, 3-0. Easy finish from Tom Richards, 10 yards out. Wonderful play on the right-hand side from Tyler Harvey. Perfect centre. And Richards, the cutest of finishes. Two minutes until half-time. And can you believe it? It's Welling United nil, Mass City 3. Riley Lowe swings the ball in towards the... Far post, it's one who did it's cleared up a line, but no, it's gone in. It will go down as a goal for Harvey Smith. The man on him from Bristol City has given way too much space in the penalty area. Volleyed it. Johnson Schuster tried to clear it off a line, but could only help it up its way in. And Bar City lead by one goal to nil here at Twitter Park. Ross Stern is running towards the corner now with Desire Dunstan in front of him, but he gets him back across him and it's towards the edge of the penalty area. It comes out to Tom Richards. Gives it off to Hamlin, he's got a lot of space ahead of him and does look to shoot. That's well saved, Simita, Ruston, 2-0 to Bath City. And he just aeroplanes it towards the corner flag. I think potential suspicions of offside. There seems to be quite a lot of Bath City players ahead of the Hungerford line, but it is 2-0 to the Romans. Riley Lowe down the left-hand side, feeds it onto Stern, he passed a late fitness test to feature. Stern swings it in with his right foot onto the head of Mann, it's blocked, appears Hamble, Mann, it doesn't matter because he's put the ball into the back of the net. It's Tyler Harvey, Bar City are back on level terms on 24 minutes. The initial shot, it wasn't that Harvey initially was charged down, but he took the second opportunity through the goalkeeper. Slide time one, Bar City one. Riley Lowe, we were just discussing a moment ago, it's now Stern, got the provider for the City equaliser. Inside to Smith now, on the edge of the box. Forced back. Smith City won it back though. Richards with a curling shot. What a goal that is from Tom Richards on 25 yards out. He couldn't have placed it much better if he tried. That Beautiful was. finish. And on 38 minutes, it's Sly 1, Bar City 2. That is class. A couple of Bar City players going towards him to try and draw for a bit of help, but as Ross Stern does, he's not going to go about it too lightly before giving it back to Harry Hamblin. Plays it into the middle towards Tyler Harvey. Looks to find a bit of space in the area and looks to get it across. And it's well finished. Tom Smith! It's 1-0 to Bar City! And it was really well done by Tyler Harvey to get it. And Bar City are in the lead on this hot bank holiday. Just waiting for the referee's whistle. It's Brunt who takes a few steps and plants it in the bottom left corner. A good penalty from the Bar City man. But the keeper, Laurie Walker, almost got to that one. There is Edwards on the side, looking to set Tom Smith into some good space on the side. Pierce looking to come across and get to him, but it's played in. Ryan Brandt, 2 0 Bar City. A fabulous counter attack. Edwards played Tom Smith down the right, flashed it across, and Ryan Brunt has two for the evening and two goals for the first. And his first goal since Torquay, and he's followed up with a second. Lokes to get it down the line. Ross Stern takes it down. He's got Tom Kniff on rushing. Can't quite use him. Nice fake shot there. Gives him a bit of space. Clips into the middle. Comes towards other man. It comes back. Tom Smith! 3 0 Bar City! And that is the cherry on top of the icing, on top of the cake. 
A lovely strike and it just broke on the edge of the box and Tom Smith bags his third goal of the season. All three coming at Twerton Park and that one probably only counts as the second best of the season because the first one was quite a stunner. 39 minutes gone, Ryan Brunt, hand on, hands on hips, steps up, Alan Julian. Can't keep it out, what a penalty that is from Ryan Brunt, emphatic just underneath the crossbar and Bar City are deservedly back on level terms, 39 minutes, Billericay won, Bar City won, pick that one out. Forward to Stoon, who's dropped deep to pick up a pocket space, driving forward to Stoon, it's going to go for a long way strike, deflected, into the back of the net, Ross Stoon with the driving strike, it deflects off, Manny Adebole leaves Tom Hadler absolutely stranded, and after 25 minutes at Twerton Park, it's Bath City 1, Eastbourne Borough now. City 9 with a free kick. Ryo to swing it in towards the far post, it's a good delivery, head on, that's a brilliant save, and it's on the line, in off the bar, it's turned in by Harvey Smith, at the end of all that was brilliant, Connor Riley, no delivery, the first one was a stunning save by Tom Hadler, but he couldn't do anything about the follow-up, Bar City back on level terms with three and a half minutes to go. Smith, he's got Edwards now in room on the left-hand side, man's the furthest man forward, Edwards jinking inside the penalty area, neat footwork, trying to get to the byline, chips it across to the far post and he's headed into the back of the net, Bar City have the breakthrough they need. Richards prods it forward to Smith, nice layoff to Stern, then looks to play it through to Smith, good ball, towards the edge 18-yard box, one-on-one -on -one with Williams, trying to find room for a shot, which he does, into the top corner, brilliantly taken by Smith. He has playing a slightly deeper role than maybe as in recent weeks, Smith as Richards nips in, looks to spread it through, gets through to Watkins, onside, past the goalkeeper, into the bottom corner. Rather than Steve, rushing one in, it's, it's another one for Bar City, it's Matt Bowers. There's no way, but Ryan Brunt steps up, hands on his hips, against Boness, scores! This time he goes low to the keeper's right, his favoured side, and Ryan Brunt has five goals in five. Bar City are ahead. It's Hemel nil, Bar City won, 33 minutes. He's having a white go at the referee, I don't know what about. He's, anyway, here he comes. Passing into the top corner, no keeper in the world would have saved that. That's a fantastic penalty. And surely City have rescued a point. Well, range with a nice ball in the right for Pierce. He's got two defenders for company. Chips in a cross away with Smith. Oh, Volleys it into the bottom corner. A beautifully worked goal by Bath City. A beautiful finish by Tom Smith. And the man who's in, been in good form lately but hasn't been scoring away from home. He has now. It's his first goal in the league away from Twerton Park this season. And it gives Bath City a 1 0 lead at Clarence Park. Reigns up over the halfway line. Plays it into Smith, he misjudges it, but comes through to Watkins. Now onto Man inside. Man, big chance in the And then Man slips it past. Slamming in the heart. Bar City open the score here at Pearson Park. It looked like the attack may have broken down for one or two seconds. It didn't. It was a good pick out. And Adam Man restored to the starting line at this afternoon. Keeps his composure to give the Romans the lead. Shuler's excellent turn away from trouble now. Artis picks it up. Uh, Smith up ahead of him, so we'll back here to Pearson. This is Meat Mouse City inside the penalty area. Pearson chips it towards that back post. It's not fully headed away. It's like Shuler's on the edge of the box, tries to bring it under control. Shuler shoots and scores! Just inside the penalty area. Hooks it into the top corner. His first goal for the club. And just under half an hour gone, it's Dulwich Hamlet nil. Varsity one. Man's going to try and get there. First, and a crunching challenge from Craig Taylor. He did well to win the ball, and now he's lost it. It's Smith, it's on to Pearson now. One on one, the flag stays down. Pearson, defenders coming back. Pearson scores, takes it beautifully. Does the youngster get his goal? And he said to Michael the other week, I'm here to get goals. That's his first for the club as well. And Bow City are back ahead on 54 minutes. Dulwich 1, Bow City 2. What a tidy finish that was. Right. Near darkness by then, I thought. Shot comes in, it's in! Bar City have extended their lead. Tom Smith nicks in on the far post. Jerry Gill punches the air in delight. And in stoppage time, all three points are going back to Somerset because it's Dulwich 1, Bar City 3. Goes in high towards the far post. It's flicked on its way by Minishal, but picked up by Pearson. And crosses in low, Man flicks it on towards the far corner and it's in off the post, it's a beautiful finish from Adam Man to give Bar City the lead, it's just flicked in, beat Chris Hay into the bottom corner 
Adam Mann has two goals in three games, and Bar City have an early 1 0 lead at Twilton Park. Corley volleys it out to Pollock on the left hand side, there's a bit too much on it. Reigns, and Paul just about bounces back to him of Pollock. He then spreads it into Pearson. This time he's most certainly onside, on the right hand side. Looks to get across him, which he does well. Finds Mann, and he's completely missed his kick. The ball's still alive. Comes to Chilvers, has a brilliant finish from there, Chilvers. The ball broke him on the edge of the 18 yard box and he's whipped it into the bottom corner. His confidence high from now Saturday. It's 2-2 two two for Noah Chilvers. It's 2 for Bar City and they're back in front against Concord Rangers. On a Fermi beats Watkins in the air. Ball falls to Artis, flicks it onto Smith. 30 yards out, tries to play Watkins through, comes back to Smith. Chance to go in on goal. 25 yards out, Smith into the bottom corner. Three goals for Bar City, surely three points. Tom Smith continues his rich reign of form. It's a beautiful 25-yard strike into the bottom corner. And the nervousness and tension around Tewerton Park may just have been dissipated. Nice flick inside to Riley Lowe. He's got Smith over on the left-hand side. Flag stays down. Smith, haven't got men back in numbers, but Smith is still able to flow to the far side. He's headed back across, and it's in! Adam Mann, back on the goal-scoring trail, missed a penalty, but did Bow City a few minutes ago. Doesn't matter, because on 14 minutes, Adam Mann heads City in front. Coming towards the river up Bow City won. Man with a really nice ball, Tom Smith through here. 18 yards out, big chance for Smith. Puts it into the back of the net, it's brilliantly taken by Tom Smith. The first time in this tie, Gosport Borough have been open at the back, and Bar City have punished them ruthlessly. Kensdale plays it inside to Chilvers, two Colts to Loney's linking up. A little bit of space for Chilvers, plays it across to Smith, the man whose goal separates these two sides. Onto Reigns now on the right, got Barry making a run ahead of him. Then a nice little turn from Reigns, still going. Across to Mann, 20 yards out centre, he's going to go for goal. And now Flaherty pushes it wide. It's going to be picked up on the follow-up, across goal. It's turned in by Andy Watkins. Bar City have a second. All came down the right-hand side. They were the most alert after O'Flaherty saved it. And it's two goals in double quick time for Bar City. And all of a sudden, this cup tie has a very different feel to it. Chilvers now on the halfway line, skips past Ken Deasy, Bar City have got five forward, looks to lay it onto Richards, this could be a chance, and to Brunt, 18 yards out, cuts it onto his left hand side, bends it, into the bottom corner, Ryan Brunt who missed the penalty in the normal 90, puts Bar City back in front, it might just be redemption for the big striker, Gosport Borough 2, Bar City 3, the Romans 8 minutes from the first round of the FA Trophy. Up to halfway, uh, he finds uh, Cameron Breeder. I think it'd be fair to say in defence, City ride their luck a bit at the moment, don't they? They have so far, yeah. City has chilled, it's got quite got its passing range yet, but the other man picks the ball up. Looking for Thompson, Thompson's well on one with a keeper, chips it in, got it back! What a lovely goal! Not dissimilar from the goal they scored against Gosport. A lovely piece of play, City quickened the pace. Man released uh, Tom Smith, and his uh, Mark Smith advanced from the goal. Smith clipped it high into the roof of the net. Nine minutes gone, Bar City one, Dartford nil. 26 minutes gone, Bar City still leading by that single goal. As I say, if that's the worst mistake I make today, I'll live with that. There's Tom Smith breaking forward on the right hand side. Can he get the ball over to Watkins? Yes, he can. Chance for Watkins. On his left foot, shoots 2 0! Lovely into the top corner, pass it, groping by right hand of Mark Smith. 27 minutes, another quick break with Tom Smith at the heart of it. And it's Bar City 2, Dartford 0, Andy Watkins' third goal of the season. City not all over. City got a chance for three, and it is three! And just as Andy Watkins again is ahead of came back across goal from Alex Hartford. And uh, Andy Watkins snapping at the far post, unmarked, made himself a yard, 35 minutes gone. Bar City 3, Dartford 0. Hartridge hooks the ball forward, drops a Chilvers on the halfway, which is a nice turn to get past Mason, still going to He's going to go for a long range shot, it deflects off the back of Hall and back three or four men ahead of him, Chilvers, but it is back with Watkins. Now to Smith, looks to play it through for Brunch, tries to call it, in off the post, into the bottom corner. It's a beautiful finish from Ryan Brunt, who said the bar city pressure had been increasing. They've now got that all important breakthrough, and it's the man who put them into round one that puts them ahead in this time.
It was just as well it did hit him because Dan Mason was stood behind him and would have had a tap in from two yards if ball hadn't been in the way. Joe Reigns rampaging down the side. It's a good ball in. And it's going Andy Watkins. And from one end to the other, Barcelia, two goals to the good. 58 minutes in, 2 0, and Bar City are heading to Canby Island. Ball helps it back forward. And uh, nobody really takes priority of the situation. Runs to Smith on the edge. Oh, that is an absolute screamer from Tom Smith. 30 yards out on the half volley. Thumps it into the top corner. It's one of City's last games of 2019. It's arguably the goal of 2019. On 88 minutes. Eastbourne won, Bar City won. Stunning. What a strike. Goes into the box. It's a bit of a mix up, was well cleared in the end. Back to Reigns. The taker, 25 yards out. Oh, what a ball that is in there. It's a ghosting header. It's a goal. It's a second for Bar City. They've turned it round in the closing stages. What a recovery it is. And in stoppage time, it's Eastbourne won, Bar City two. It's Alex Hartridge it with the Hartridge. touch. It's an absolute peach of a cross from Joe Reigns. George Rigg flicks it on. It's Joe Reigns. Here's Adam Mann, drops the ball off halfway inside. The Chippenham half, Ryan Brunt gets his way past Luke Haynes. Spins the ball out to the far side. Here's Pearson. Pearson looking to get away from Tyler. He's got the run around the outside of Hartridge. Hartridge was across towards the back post. It's Adam Mann, flicks it back across. Ryan Brunt. Ryan Brunt scores. 1-1. One, one. We are in for the absolute treat so far in the A4 derby. Two goals after 11 minutes, and it's Ryan Brunt, the scorer. To the contrast to Lonino at Chilvers. It's looked to be switched towards Pearson, but it's gone over his head. But Archridge is coming round the outside on the side of the penalty box. Plays it in. And a man! Two all! We are all square once again. A fantastic volley from Adam Mann as the ball drops in the penalty area, and we're all square in the A4 derby. Ryan Clark plays it short to Bowery. Trotting forwards from the back, we're giving it sideways to Tom Smith, who's still a little effect on this one. Looking to come forward here. He's coming forward, he's still chasing there. Joe Reigns, 3-2! It was a great run through the middle and a great stab into the top corner, and Bar City have turned it around. Oh, that was absolutely classic, Joe Reigns. Goes back, no one's picked up Dan Bowery behind him. Gives him time to cross into the box, and uh, McDonald's fortunate that he managed to pick it up in the end. He went through around three bodies. Second crossing range is blocked. Third one comes in. It's a flick on. It's seen. Yes, Bar City are back. And Lear turns it. It's Ryan Brunt around two yards out. Hammers it into the roof of the net. Reacted quickest to the flick on. And we're going to be going in at level terms of the break here. Two minutes into stoppage time in the first half. Chipman won. Bar City won. So plenty of enough time to get it up and down in time, but whether it will have the sufficient power. It's rolled to Smith, who shoots. Oh, yeah. Smith, what a finish! Into the roof of the net. It's almost as venomous as his goal against Eastbourne. Tom Smith, an absolute power driver, put City in the lead on 70 minutes. Chippenham one, Bar City two. Paddy didn't even see it. Joe Reigns with his throw in. Down the right, finds Adam Mann, heads it back to Reigns, now to Smith towards the edge of the box, now to Britain, this is a chance for three, yes! Oh yes, 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 Abar City, it's Louis Britain's first goal for the club, turns and hammers it into the roof of the net from close range and runs into that horde of fans behind the goal to celebrate. All three points are going back to Twerton Park, just entering the 90th minute, it's Chippenham time one, Bar City three! Bar City pick it back up through Reigns, keeping the pressure on. It's crossed towards the far side. Rilo arriving, nods it down. His bunt. There's off to Smith. Takes a touch and the chance is gone. It comes to Artsong as a box for a beautiful goal finish from Frankie Artas. It's his first goal of the season. And Frankie Artas gets Bar City back on level terms at Twitter Park. Barry nods it down to the right hand side where Reigns will keep it in. He crosses. Oh, Nicks all the way through to Stern, 18 yards out. Rilo making an overlap and run, cuts inside. Still with Stern, Stern with a chance into the bottom corner. Ross Stern has surely won it for Bar City as we enter the 90 minute mark. And for the fourth time over Christmas, the Romans have come from behind to win. The character in this team just keeps getting stronger and stronger. There's Dakari Sheriff enters the fray, who's missed out recently to the dislocated shoulder. 
is on for Kit Elliott. Change were preparing for four goal, and they haven't changed their minds after it. It's Brun shot is charged down on the edge of the box. It's an equaliser! Bow City are back into it almost instantly. And what a dramatic few minutes this has been. It's Tom Smith who's lashed in from close range. And they were barely behind for a minute. We said they'd like to come back in the games, and they've got back into it immediately on 79 minutes. Concord won, Bow City won. So it looks like Smith is going to hammer this. It's going to be closed down, so can he get it through the wall, really? Or maybe Connor Riley loads the chip one over. Smith drives it into the net! Straight through the wall! Number 14 for the season. Bisson got his hand to it, but Bar City take the lead with 12 minutes remaining. Tom Smith once again the goal scorer. They, they lack real penetration up front, you feel, don't they? Yeah, they do, particularly with Ashford off the pitch. I mean, um, Moore came on and looked impressive for the first kind of five or ten minutes, but done not a lot since then. Oh, no, City, what a great chance here. Stern, can he make it two? Yes, he can! Ruston, a terrible kick out by Besant. He didn't learn much from his dad, that's for sure. Ruston takes full advantage, placing the ball low past Besant's left hand. Besant thumps the ground in annoyance at himself before he kicks the ball out the back of the net. Bar City 2, Harold Hempstead 0, and you do feel that will be game over. So it is Brunt against Hay from 12 yards. Up steps the City striker. Brilliant penalty into the top corner, absolutely no chance for Hay. And after 24 minutes, Bar City back on level terms in this FA Trophy tie. It's Bar City 1, Concord Rangers 1. Yeah, tough game, tough game. We've got a few tough games coming up, so uh, vital that we try and get a three points today and get a good run going into Tuesday. Range on the right hand side. It's a great ball in. Smith is there, it's off the post, loose ball. Falls to Ross Dune, and on his return to the starting lineup, Ross Dune has his 51st goal for Bar City. Loose ball broke to him nicely in the area, and from six yards out, there was going to be no mistake from the Roman. Bar City in front, and they have the lead that their dominance deserves. Dan Ball nods it away. He's had a uh, Tomelchi go through him, but nothing doing. The ball's played out to Pearson. I don't think he thought it was going to get over Johnson, and it did. He does keep it in, though. Looking to come inside here, into the box, pulls it back to the edge. Adam Mann looks to square it back to Frankie Artis. Frankie Artis looks to shoot. 1-0 Bar City, and it's Frankie Artis that's got it. He scored against Braintree and he scored again now. That's 15 minutes played, Bar City 1, Maidstone 0. Near the edge of the penalty area, floats into the box, important head away from Ball and nobody's there to react to the loose ball apart from yet again Adam Mann. It's picked up from Martin there down the left hand side. Pearson's trying to hold his line to stay on side, but Martin's just going to keep running and running and running as he's done all evening. He's played inside of Pearson, who's turned over in trouble. Smith's in, Rune to the right, he must find Smith. Pearson's going to go alone, Pearson must score. Pearson does score, and he wraps up the three points of our city. Again, it took a deflection, but the patience of Sam Pearson and the excellent build-up play means that Bar City will making, be making the long journey home joyous because on 93 minutes is Maidstone nil, Bar City to get in. Ball drops at Reigns, midway inside the Dulwich half. It's Chilvers. Now on to Martin, so it's just spread it to Hartridge. Now it's up to Martin on the left-hand side, there's space to run into. Plays it across to Mann on the edge of the 18-yard box. Out wide to Pearson in a bit of space, looks a dinking across, it's well headed by Deborah, still alive, drops to Smith, who puts it past Charlie Granger, it's a slight risky finish, but it's into the bottom corner, and after 15 minutes, Bar City in front of Torton Park, Tom Smith, the top scorer, back among the goals. Partridge has it on the halfway line, the rain does start to ease, it's a slide it through for Martin, it's a lovely picket, he crosses first time on the run, it's a brilliant cross, and it's turned in by Tom Smith, two for Tom Smith, two for Bar City, it's a brilliant real goal, and the Romans back in front before the interview. Ball drops to McCoy, it's a slightly heavy touch, and originally retains possession, Hartford then comes out of defence, stabs it forward to Pearson on the halfway line, he's got Mann and Brunt ahead of him, Bowes quickly closing down, still with Pearson, cuts across, they hit to Smith, 30 yards out, he's going to go for a strike, it's a brilliant goal for Tom Smith, it's a hat trick goal for Tom Smith, he's smashed it in the corner for an all of 30 yards, what an afternoon for Tom Smith. Well, of the three goals, that was clearly the finest, we've seen him do it here before, 
edge of the area, absolute pile driver. And you could see from the goalkeeper's reactions going for the ball after it had already gone past him. And boy, the City have a habit of bouncing back. No ball. Just about keeps it in on the left hand side. Takes a bit of a tumble, but he's okay. It's a man in the penalty area. Man turning away from trouble. And well covered from Jones in this. In the end, Adam Mann has bustled his way through. And it was he and Mike Jones who are battling for it. Not sure who got the final touch. Man looks like he's claiming it. He'll want to claim it because if so, it's his first goal of 2020. It's Bar City's first goal of the game. And on the stroke of half time, Hungerford 10 0, Bar City 1.